Hi everyone, welcome back to the Enchanted Basin. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. You'll see me do an intro here a minute in the car, but it's a whole lot of chaos because it's my first time doing it that way. Also, this video, we find some good stuff. There's a lot of awkward <laughs> excitement chaos, so get prepared for that. It is a long one because I find a lot of stuff. I go through every item and show the prices for you guys. So definitely maybe you grab, a, grab a drink, grab a snack, get cozy with a blanket, or if you're like me, a fan because it's 95 degrees and you're dying. <laughs> so get comfortable. Um, I'm excited to show you guys what I found today. Let's get into it. Good morning, everyone. Um, so you can see I got my dash cam set up. I'm very excited. Um, oh, by the way, hi. Uh, welcome back to the Enchanted Basement. If you're new here, my name is Jenny. Welcome. Um, I do pretty much everything on this channel that's Halloween and witchy oriented. Um, I also do like cat lady unboxings, um, crafting, tasting, vegan foods. Um, oh, and chronic illness awareness videos as well. If, fellow spoonies out there. Um, so if that's something that interests you, definitely please do consider subscribing to the channel. I would love to have you here. Um, so for today's video, I am headed to, um, I'm doing a weekly check-in of places and I am headed to a different at home than I went to last week even. Of those two, I'm going to, there's a third one in my area, which I know I feel super lucky because there's people I know that don't have them within like hours of them. So very blessed here. <laughs> um, so there's one that um, it's across the river for me, which is why I don't go super often. So it's like in another state, um, about 30 minutes away, depending on traffic. Um, but it tends to have the best stuff. Um, so I decided I was, just, I was gonna get up early. I'm gonna hit that one first, um, try and get across the river before the traffic hits. I'm really excited. I'm hoping we find some good stuff. Um, I'm also going to hopefully be hitting up Old Time Pottery because there's been things popping up on the Instagram that um, I'm really excited for and I kind of want to get my hands on. So I'm hoping. And also Bath and Body Works is the goal today as well because I know today they are doing a wallflower sale and I've seen sneak peeks in some stores putting out their Halloween and fall scented wallflowers. So um, I'm gonna check in with one of those at least. I probably won't go to many of them. I have, again, four or five of those in my area, but um, I live in the city area. So within the suburbs all around the city, there's quite a few ones. So, um, but I think I'm just gonna hit up one because all the other driving is gonna wear me out. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I'm excited. I'll check in with you guys when we get to the first at home location. All right, guys. Um, so <laughs> this is the first time I've actually used my good camera in one of, in like doing one of these. Uh, I typically use my phone, so I'm about to be like a whole mess of awkward. You ready? Like, I don't even know if you can see me. That's probably super zoomed in. Um, <laughs> enjoy. You guys. You guys. This is why I came to this store. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my, okay, okay, okay. Oh my gosh. This is one thing I wanted. Boom. Keep it coherent, Jenny. We saw these bottles before. Here's these. These are gorgeous. I like the oil slick kind of style. My focusing. There you go. Oh my gosh, guys. And also, you can see there's some big stuff displayed. I'm beyond excited now, and I'm so happy. It was worth the drive. Yeah, these little creatures. The Halloween heroes, okay. I think this is supposed to be like normal, like, um, or traditional Halloween colors kind of stuff. These are super cute. These trees are actually really nice. I mean, that glare would get everywhere, but, um, you know. We have like the mini vintage trees. These are super cute. And I like those. I have a big one that I got here last year. Some candles. Okay, here's the little glass milk bottles I saw at the other location. Some of these. Oh, this is really cool. That's very, it's like a little skull, um, I don't know, like a lemonade thing. 
mugs. Those are $11.99. Um, okay, we have a bunch of really big like balls. I guess you could use these maybe for outdoor trees. If you wanted to. Another Halloween tree. Those are $4.99 for that. And this is $3.99 for the really big. I mean, this is my hand for scale, so these are massive. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, I'm seriously so excited. There's like aisles, aisles. We have more of the the vintage trees. These are $19.99. Treat, bow. Oh, I kind of like this. Wait, here's this too. Any candy corn people? Anybody doing a candy corn theme this year? I really like the spooky. Oh, look at this. $12.99. Maybe. I have to be good. <laughs> I'm trying not to buy too much. I bought this last year. I keep this on um, my dresser in the bedroom <laughs> year round. Cute little vintage. These, they said it light up. Not very bright if it does. Um, garland, pumpkins with words, it's kind of like almost graffiti like, it's kind of interesting. There we go, $14.99. These I honestly really like, but they're $20, and I would, I would want like two of them to put on either side of my mantle, but I don't know if I can justify $40. These look like you could honestly just decorate them, I know they're probably meant to be like this, Color, but you could probably decorate paint those yourself if you wanted. They actually have it in a bigger one too for $9.99. And then they also have it, okay, in orange and black. So maybe it is potentially meant for crafting or if somebody just kind of wanted a standard color scheme without a ton of prints or whatever. So they have the small and the large in all three colors. Really big boo sign, like massive. This is definitely like a yard sign. Or 20, mm, 29 I'm so excited, guys, that I can't even talk right now. Some beak spiders, $6.99. And our spider web we saw. Oh, white gauze. This is interesting. Well, it's like an off white, actually. That's $1.99. You could probably even spray paint this. Again, that, yeah, granted, my brain always goes to crafting with things. So, <laughs> um, some really, really large ghosts. Those are $9.99. And here's what I wanted to show you. Look at this massive pumpkin, this massive spider. And then this tall jack one is the first like massive outdoor stuff I've seen and I'm, I'm super excited. So the spider is $99.99. The jack lantern, $79.99. Let me look at the big pumpkin here. This is really pretty, I don't know. Wouldn't have a space for this. $99.99. Okay, and then we have this other. Oh, I'm so excited. There's one thing I'm wanting. I really hope, actually two things I want. I'm really hoping they have it. Fun little happy Halloween sign. $7.99. You guys, I am, I can't even tell you. I'm a little jittery right now because I'm so happy to find stuff. I was so concerned I was gonna get here and <laughs> be like the other locations. Um, $8.99. Now this is <laughs> Yui. So this sign can either be spelled boo or mm, you can have it say eek. I think that's kind of fun. You can always change it up. Eek wouldn't be scary. We saw this last time. I'm still like, how much are these? $6.99. Big, beautiful velvet hat, witchy hat. It's $14.99. That actually feels really nice. It's not like a, I mean, I guess you could wear it, but it's definitely meant for decor. But it is, feels really, really beautiful and like good material. And then of course all the, <laughs> the older witchy ladies. Those are, I think they're all, oh, that one's $29.99. It's sort of younger. And then we have our older, our crone, $39.99. And then we have this smaller little lady. <laughs> she is $14.99. And up top, I don't know if I'll be able to get a price on these because I'm too short. 
So there's these like pumpkins with kind of dripping on it. Black cats, these are just wooden cats. Those are $4.99. These kitties are so cute. I've been seeing them. They're like, sounds like wooden. Maybe resin, potentially. $12.99. Brooms. I wish it wasn't glitter because oh god, I would get everywhere. $14.99. It's a it's a face them, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Which would be oh and it's got a little crow, a little raven on it. That's aw. Um we have our flying witches. They had these last year. $12.99. I remember I don't know if they were the same color last year, but I remember those. This was also something we saw last year as well. The like twiggy wreath with black snake on it. Some more of our glass pumpkins. Wow, these are heavy. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is it's $19.99. Wow, those are pretty. And our velvet pumpkins. We saw last time again. Both small and the large ones, as well as the skulls. It says they're flocked. I just think it's like kind of velvety, so I don't know. The, oh my gosh, I saw this. Okay, this is one of the things I wanted. It's a little witchy pumpkin. I wish it lit up. Um, I'm not, again, I'm not big on like the blown glass stuff, but this is so cute. $10. Oh. And you can see like, I don't know how it's blown. It can have different colors. This one's more of a, like a goldish. This one's just silvery blue, which is coming home with me. Oh. So back to the sign. That's cute. I have one that says something about um, a witch her, her husband or her something and little monsters it was $4.99 but that's really cute more of the balls and kind of more jewel tone colors those are fine I like that if you're doing more of like a witchy theme trees those are $8.99 for the trees oh you can kind of see here's a floor pan <laughs> it should learn not to leave these out for us this is gonna be an under ten dollar section. Ooh, I don't know what that pumpkin says. I think it says spooky, but I want it. Give me more skulls, some more bottles. Okay, all right, at home. I see you. Oh, these like beaded skulls. These are beautiful. Fourteen ninety nine for that. These big lanterns. These are part of the dark decadence line. Kind of like a, a fancy goth line, which. I'm here for. I wish this wasn't glitter. Otherwise, I would really, <laughs> really like it. Let me try it. They're okay. Um. Oh, these light up. Oh, that's actually really nice. I wonder if it's meant to flicker or if it's solid. I kind of like the flickering. <laughs> it adds a really fun eeriness to it. Again, this is from the Dark Darkness. $14.99 for this. I like this. But it has one, it has to take one of those kind of batteries. I wish they had them where it would take like AAA, AA so we could easily replace them. I mean, you might be able to buy that easy replace. I just, I never have, so who knows. <laughs> that little skull with jewels in the eyes. Now, what's $9.99? <laughs> these are, these candles. No, oh, it's, it lights up on its own. So this, huh, does take like AAA or AA batteries. I like, I wish I knew if it was multicolor, single color, but it looks really cool. Um, these bulks of the skulls that, um, oh, they, they light up. Oh, the eyes, that's right. I feel like they had these before. This one's obviously broken, but it's both eyes light up to red. Ooh, look at these. These are, they're $19.99. It's a little much for that. Oh, these light up as well. So it looks like it's probably a single light or steady light for maybe that skull. These are $17.99. Skeleton lady. Skeleton dude. He's $39.99. And these massive trees. Close to four feet. Three and a half feet. They're expensive. They're $49.99. But I wish they weren't glittery, but they're massive. These are cool. I wish these weren't glittery. <laughs> Why do they do so much glittery? Um, I just love the, the spider web base on it. I mean, the glitter is beautiful. It's just, it gets everywhere. There we are. Some gold skulls. Flowers all over it. 
Those are $9.99. Okay, so here's some black and gold of the little mini ornaments. $4.99 though. We have a skull. This guy's like some glitter. You're kind of crystals, little pearl. I think these were out last year as well. I remember them. $9.99. Our little tree guy. I've seen this. This is probably like 30 or for it. It's multicolored. They usually come out with a darker version too, not the white. Kind of like the darker version. Uh, these are $9.99. Skull candle. I got this last year actually. And it's a bleeding candle, so I, I honestly never live mine. I just have it as decoration. But you're supposed to light it and then like this like red wax comes down. It looks kind of like blood. I think it's a fun concept. I, I should probably do it. I just like the skull itself. <laughs> well, the design on it. All right, some more. These are just straight black and white. This would be fun if you could find some green ones. Do like a Beetlejuice theme. That would be really cute. Ooh. So these are not quite flocked. These are like straight up faux fur kind of. Oh, that's just real soft. That's what that is. <laughs> $7.99. Those are pretty decent size too. Um, candle, bleeding candle is four of those. Oh, it looks like they're in like little tea light holders. It's interesting. I'm not seeing small ones like that. $6.99. And then... Hmm. That's it. There's like a porcupine pumpkin. That's what that looks like to me. $5.99 for that. Um, there's a sign. Make no bones about it. $6.99 for that. Oh no. Okay. And then we have some mats. Um, I actually am thinking about getting this blue one. Um, this is fun too. Welcome to Witches Inn. And it's got our little basin on it. I just really like the colors of this one. It's so striking and the spider webbing on it is beautiful. I've seen several other designs online, but this was always the one that kind of came that I'm most attracted to. So I'm probably going to end up picking this up as well. I'll look around some other stuff to kind of see if there's anything else catches my eye. Um, otherwise, I'll meet you guys out in the car. Um, I actually missed half of a little aisle so when they come back they have these big ones I've seen people getting this I just want to have a place for it I really like it though they're $29.99 um looks like we're gonna have several different size pumpkins coming out and they also show this is going to be some of the yard stuff lots of our bones coming back looks like we're gonna have maybe a big jack skull or a jack lantern white pumpkins I really like these too those are $19.99 Oh, these light up. That's fun. Not super bright. Very kind of farmhousey jack lantern. This massive sign. I do like the jack lantern face in it. It's cute. This is not bad. Twenty four ninety nine. This is a massive sign. It's a little ghost. He almost has the little like screen face on him. Um, that is. $14.99. It's really fun, like little haunted village. They're like wooden. There's some cutouts. So it looks like it does light up. Maybe the only part of it does. I don't know. <laughs> um, little Halloween campers. These are super cute. It's a big happy Halloween pumpkin. That is $14.99. I love this branchy tree. Crows. $29.99. I feel like you could maybe make that for some with some Dollar Tree kind of stuff. You could probably make that for cheaper than that. These are, oh, I thought it was 99 cents. I was like, are you serious? Like, and we have Benny in the back of the truck. <laughs> oh, this lights up. Oh, I love the multicolor thing. Very cool. That's $19.99. That's not bad. This is a pretty heavy piece. Um, oh, the camper, by the way, $14.99. I don't know if it lights up or not. It does say it does, but there's not a way to try it out. So it looks like you probably put your own batteries in it, so that's cool. And then this little haunted house, which it lights up too. Uh, batteries not included, so that's another one where you bring your own. But okay, just wanted to show you guys that. <sighs> Keep looking up anymore. There's a lot of the 
blown glass stuff down there too in case that's your thing definitely check your there's a lot of the blown glass pumpkins just traditional fall colors so okay i'm done now <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, it's only 9.45. I'm already, like, sweating. The humidity here is unbearable. I can't stand it. Okay, anyway, um, I found some things. I'm very excited. So what I'm going to do, I'll probably just add for each place if I get stuff elsewhere. Also, I'm just going to pop in, show you a little bit of what I got, do a little bit of a haul in between each place. So enjoy that now. All right, so our haul for at home. You guys can probably already guess what I got, but let's show you. First thing, the cute little pumpkin with a witch hat on it. This thing was just too adorable. Um, I was thinking maybe put it like some fairy lights behind it just to kind of help it glow through the pumpkin. It's just so, so cute. I had to have it. So that was the first thing. Then the wine bottle opener and the stopper. I'm honestly not a big wine drinker like at all, but I will like sometimes use it in a recipe if it calls for it for like a sauce. So I feel like this is the perfect excuse to need these. Um, Cause I have like skeleton salad hands I use. So I figure let's just continue the skeleton kitchen happening. So these were a must for me. All right, another thing I'm gonna put in my kitchen is this little sign. I think it's so cute. Um, I, I have, like I said before, I have a lot of orange and black and white in my kitchen. So it kind of goes with that, that whole theme, that motif, if you will. So, um, and it's just, it's kind of cute and it's food focused. So, I mean, come on, I had to, I had to. <laughs> okay, so this thing, I think it was just, <sighs> I love it. The face is giving me some serious like scream vibes and like, this like spooky ghost, it's so cool. Okay, and the last thing I got from at home is, oh my. It's just so fun, I love the colors, it's so nice and vibrant. It's actually a really good thick kind of material for an outdoor mat. Some of them are like really thin. This is nice, it'll be good. I don't know how long the uh, decorations on it will hold up, but um, I really like it and I think it'll be a fun addition to my front porch. Okay, so back to the hunting. Okay, so we're done with that at home. I am, um, Bath and Body Works doesn't open for another like 14 minutes. It's probably only gonna take me like five to get there. So I might stop by Starbucks and be super basic and get a coffee. Um, even though I don't want coffee really. I just want, I want an iced tea, their green tea. They used to have a peach green tea that was delightful, um, but they can't get peach syrup anymore. So. You know, raspberry tea. I don't know. I'm not even do it at all. I'm trying to save. I'm trying to save money so that I can use it towards Halloween goodness. You know. Um, but yeah. So I think I'm going to just at least head towards Bath and Body Works. We'll see what time I get there, and then pop in. Hopefully, I'll find some wallflowers. All right. I'll see you guys at Bath and Body Works. Fingers crossed. We find something. If you can cross your fingers. Yeah. I can't. Thank goodness for rheumatoid arthritis. <laughs> but <laughs> if you can cross your your fingers toes if if you can do that craziness um that we find something there because i know it's june and everyone else is so not ready for it but i am ready for all of the good fall scents i am that person that bun you know burns bull friend and pumpkin pecan waffles year round um and um, pumpkin vanilla cream i hope they bring that back that's probably my favorite now um they're just, they're such happy scents. It just feels so good. But yeah, okay, anyway, I will see you there. I'm gonna stop rambling. <laughs> All right, so I went inside Bath Body Works. There was not any um, Halloween stuff, any Halloween scents yet. Um, there weren't any like, like pumpkin pecan waffles kind of fall stuff, but there's definitely like some cinnamon stuff. There were, um, oh my goodness, there's one I sent you on my dash. I'm gonna show you this candle. It's. I've never heard anybody say this smells like pumpkin pecan waffles, but to me this smells like pumpkin pecan waffles. It's summer boardwalk. I hope that's not backwards, but oh sweet lord, like a lighter pumpkin pecan waffles. And then I just got some wallflowers, like my normal scents because they did not have any of the fall ones or Halloween ones yet. So I'm going to head to the other at home one. Um, 
probably not gonna full, do a full showing like I did at the one we just went to um, but if there's anything new um, or if I find that cat I will definitely be sure to show you so um, let's head there okay guys so I'm not even gonna show you the other at home because I just went in and there's literally nothing new it's exactly what we had last week but there's no empty space around it so it doesn't even look like they're ready to like clear out for more decorations so um i'm really grateful i went to the location i went to this morning because if i had just gone to this one i would be super bummed and huh, i'm still kind of bummed anyway <laughs> even though we found good stuff today i'm still just like sad that um there wasn't much at this one or like anything new at this one fingers crossed <laughs> we can find some new stuff at old time pottery so let's head there guys so I thought I'd do a little bit of a voiceover it was so loud in the store and there were so many people around I thought it would just be so much easier for me to do it this way and kind of show you what we what we see um so first um there's this haunted house with the tree which is kind of fun uh, those are $9.99 that one does light up then we have our little witch on the moon she's got an owl bat little jack lantern the crystal ball right there in her hand that one is $12.99 I really like that one especially then we have like this little cloche that has branchy things $14.99 for that it has the little pumpkin creatures our uh, fortune teller right there I believe that one does light up as well um this one didn't have a price on that side I think what was it um there we go it was uh $9.99 for that right there that was okay kind of cheap looking to me but that's all right um, our pumpkin skeleton guy, I thought this was really cool. His ha uh, The skeleton head is right down there near the feet of him, but he's holding a little pumpkin head on him. So, kind of thought that was a fun little uh, setup there. What was the price on this one? I think I'm trying to f figure out the zoom on that. Um, this one was, yeah, $9.99. Then we had our little jack-o'-lantern in his outfit with... I don't know if this is a cat or dog. I'm going to go with the cat because cat lady. <laughs> $7.99 for that. And our little Jack Lantern lady. I thought this was really adorable. It gives me kind of a vintage vintage vibe with that. That one was $9.99. Come on, get the zoom. My camera was being really wonky this day. I think it was, it was just as excited as I was and it wasn't cooperating quite well. <laughs> All right, the next little grouping of things we saw, there was these little uh, Dia de los Muertes, um, like girl and boy, these are $12.99. Um, these give me very Disney vibes. <laughs> um, there's a shorter one that's just a couple of them together. That was $12.99. We had these skulls, like skull heads that were made of tiny skull bodies, which it was intriguing but also really strange <laughs> so um those were 4.99 i mean i think it's a good price for those for sure if, especially if you're going for like a skull thing <laughs> um we have this our little benny i like to call him from halloween town in a tub he is 14.99 he's got a little bottle of wine bottle of champagne just hanging out in the bubble bath I think it's a bottle of poison, but you know. <laughs> we have our little spell book right here. This was really cool how this done. It had a skeleton holding up the book. I thought that was a really, really fun detail. Um, that one is, come on camera, that one was $12.99 right there. Then we had these skeleton hands. It looks like it's meant to hold a tea light. Those are $14.99. I thought it was really interesting. We had um, this pumpkin. It's got kind of like a like a sugar skull look on it. It was really sweet looking. Um, those were $12.99. Oh, those are really pretty, like the cutouts, how that was done. We had two smaller little pumpkins with little um, writing on it. One says, what's up my witches? The other one says, I'm here for the booze. Both of those I believe were, how much was that? So $3.99. These were really fun. I like the, the coloring on this, this darker orange with the crow on it. Um, those, I'm trying to remember how much they were. I think that one didn't have a price on it. 
free. Um, <laughs> they were $9.99, which is not a bad price. I really like those. This one had two pumpkins stacked up together, full branches um, as the arms, like in the little flower pot. It was quirky. $19.99 for that. We had the skeleton hiding in the pumpkin. It's like Oscar the Grouch, but Oscar the Pumpkin. <laughs> $19.99 right there. Oh, that was very different. And then another like sugar skull. This was like a small little candy dish. I wish it was deep enough to be a planter because that would be really fun in the garden. $14.99 for that right there. In the last little section, there was this uh, pumpkin writing this like jack-o'-lantern moon. That was $14.99. Very, very different. I thought that was really cute. Then we saw the same kind of gnomes and stuff we've seen um, the last couple of weeks. There were these two new, I don't know if these would be garden things or just for around the house, but there's like this glittery mummy, which I don't know how I feel about it. Um, and there's this Frankenstein with this, like, kind of like his glittery <laughs> little jacket, but these were $14.99. Uh, interesting. I don't know that they would fare very well outside, um, but... And then there's our other skeleton garden gnomes, so. Okay, guys, so you can see we found a good bit. Um, there's not, like, a ton of new stuff. There was definitely some of the stuff I was looking for. Um, so here's the haul of what I got. All right, so for Old Time Pottery, here's what I got. <laughs> the, like, little skeleton hands. Uh, I think it's meant to hold, like, maybe a tea light, but I just tried it out. I was thinking it would work. It holds the three wick Bath and Body Works candles. So that's perfect. This is my, one of my ghoul friends from last year. Um, this is like basically one of my favorite <laughs> fall candles. So I have plenty of it. But yeah, I thought this would be the perfect fun candle holder. So yay, I'm glad that fits. I also got the, the little jack-o'-lantern on the moon. I mean, I just, first of all, I love moons. And the fact that the moon is a jack-o'-lantern is super cute. And then you have this little jack-o'-lantern writing it. It's adorable. I'm not really a big fan of clowns, but this was just like quirky and I don't know. Something I'm very drawn to it, so I had to have it. I think it's gonna, it's gonna look fun around um, somewhere in my house. <laughs> okay, so for this one, um, I just thought this was so cute. It's this little cloche that's got, again, you got me with the moon. Um, and these other little jack lanterns, a little witch, and it lights up. If you guys can tell that, probably see the ring light reflection, but it lights up and it's just so cute. Um, I don't have a whole lot of like vintagey kind of old war world witchy things, so I, I don't know. I was just very drawn to this and I feel like I need to start collecting them, which could be a real <laughs> bad thing for me wallet wise, <laughs> for my wallet. But, um, I don't know, actually it was cute. It's also, look, you see these like pumpkins around the edges. It's just like, those little details are really, really cool to me. I love it. And then the lady I really wanted is our little witch on the moon. Basically, if it had a moon on it, I pretty much got it. So. You, you know my loves now. Anything with moons. <laughs> a little jack lantern right here. Bath friend. And of course the owl. And she's holding crystal ball. I really like it because so many times with the green ones, like, I mean, she has a bigger nose, but like, they'll show them all warty and kind of, I don't know, like, I have a weird thing about the green skin, but I know I just need to get over it because like, I think it gives like which is a bad thing but also that just came from movies so it's not like people meant anything by it you know so I just need to take it as that's what it was there's no ill will bared with it but anyway <laughs> long little soapbox right there she's adorable okay one last little set I don't know if I can hold this all at once my hands are too small F. Oh. <laughs> if you know me, you know why I like this, obviously, so. I'm definitely excited. So for my, how I decorate, I normally do my living room is kind of um, more the darker aesthetic, lots of bats, um, spiders, just kind of lots of black, um, orange, 
purple for sure um, and then my dining room is a lot more like forest witchy so there's lots of there's several basins throughout the room lots of branchy things um, woodland creatures because you know I had to <laughs> but um, yeah so I think this is probably gonna be like a dining room type of decoration um, but who knows maybe I'll find somewhere else for it but yep that's everything I found at old time three all right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you for joining me this week. I will be here next week, per usual. Um, please uh, do like this video, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I put out a new one of these. Also, follow me on Instagram at The Enchanted Basin. Um, I post little updates before I post them here, so you definitely wanna follow me there so you stay in the know of everything that I'm doing. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and we will see you next week for our next video. Bye.